everyone, I'm Keychain. Today we have update 6.0.0 and Castle 45 is finally here. So how do you unlock Castle 45? You're going to have to do the Royal Revival quest and that will pop up in the bottom left of your screen right here. And you're going to want to start this as soon as you can because it requires a lot of resource gathering, training troops, and killing threats. Now, when you first load it in, you're going to have three quests that pop up after the story starts. And the first one is to gather 8 million resources, train 20,000 troops of tier 10 or higher, and hit 80 threats. And after you complete those three quests, you're going to unlock these rewards down here. Now, one of the rewards in here is a piece of the Rare Splendor set, which is pretty nice and two of these reward rare splendor and you're going to get some marquee badges and you're also going to gain so here's a second the second piece of the rare splendor now we'll get into the rare splendor set in a little bit but the rewards in here are pretty decent you're going to get a good chunk of badges both aristocrat and marquee and you're going to gain these scrolls that allow you to unlock your maximum level level of your troop buildings and your castle so once you've completed the Royal Revival quest, you can start upgrading your castle level from 40 all the way to up to 45. Now there's some other places to get marquee badges and a few of those places are in New World. Now, New World's gonna be even more important than it was before. And you're gonna wanna join New World even if you're not gonna participate and try and get into the top rewards. You're still gonna get a decent chunk of items just for joining so each new world is capped at 2,000 players and you get rewards all the way up to 2,000 just for joining so if you're rank one most people watching this video are not going to be getting rank one in new world but say you did you're going to get 55 marquee badges that re that um, reduces each rank as you go down and then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom two ranks where the majority of us are going to land now, if you're in the ranks 500 to 1,000, you're going to get two marquee badges, some recruitment banners, training speed-ups, and these other items. And then just for joining, even if you don't participate, you're going to get recruitment banners, one marquee badge, some speed-ups, and curiosity handbooks and trans scrolls. Now, the other place to get these marquee badges is in Crown Invasion. Inside of Crown Invasion, the individual rewards have been changed. These initial tiers look the same, but up here at the 17 million range, you've got two badges here, three badges for the next tier, five, and then six. So you could end up getting 16 badges if you made it all the way to the 66 million points. Now, a little bit of a pro tip here, or life hack, whatever you want to call it. The resource... If you're on resource tiles inside the forest during KVK, the conversion rate is 100% to the hospital outside of your hospital being full. So if you find somebody that's similar stats to you, you can trade kills with them and end up racking up a lot of points without actually losing any of your troops. All you're going to lose is the resources you need to heal them and maybe some speed ups if you're gonna speed your troops because uh, it does take a while. But you could easily get to the 66 million tier if you find somebody to trade kills with in the forest. Now, after that, we're gonna move on to the last place where you can get a lot of marquee badges for free and that's with the Kingdom vs. Kingdom packages that you get for either saving your own kingdom and conquering it or conquering others. Now, here's another thing. They changed the center castle. So now instead of it being a bunch of dirt in here, there's a nice little lake that it's kind of floating in and the cannons on the outside look different. So let's get in here. The 3D map makes it a little hard to click things sometimes, but looks like I made it in first try. The Royal Packages. Inside of these Royal Packages, now, the Conqueror Pack gives 90 badges. The Defender Pack gives 60, and the Royal Support Pack gives 30. This is really good. 
And depending on how many kingdoms you're conquering, you might want to give one player, your top player, all three conqueror packs. Just so that they can get that big chunk of badges and start upgrading their castle and their other buildings. Because if your biggest player gets to tier 13 and you have tier 13 in your in your own center castle or on the cannons, it's going to make it a lot harder for the other kingdoms to conquer you if they don't have their own tier 13 troops. So depending on how they release these or you know how accessible badges are, you may want to try and come up with a rotation to get players to Castle 41 or 42 or 43 and, and rush them in there. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is there's two new guards that are supposed to be coming to the game soon. But one of the things that they've done, they've put two system mails that the new guards are not here yet, but they will be soon. So they'll probably be released in an event like they did with um, Prince Lucian when he came out. They built an event around it, and then doing well in the event, you could buy his shards or, you know, doing whatever quests were associated with it would unlock his shards so that you could unlock him. So I'm guessing they're going to do something like that with the new guards. Now another piece of this is tier 13 troops are here. Now once you get your buildings, your troop buildings to level 44, you're going to start seeing tier 13 troops. And they are better than the tier 12s by a little bit. I have a separate video on that if you're interested. Um, you can click on the link above. It will also be linked at the end of the video so you can check that out if you're interested and let's see one of the last things that I want to talk about on this update is the increased hospital capacity now the increased hospital capacity they put into three different tabs the development tab they increased the top end of the research it used to be five out of five here and now it goes all the way up to 15 and the tiers look like this so it jumps up as you get higher. Actually, this one stays about 2,000 per level. A different one <laughs> we're going to get to in just a second. Sorry, spoilers. Um, this one also increases at 2,000 per level to 10, and then it increases at 3,000 per level all the way up. Yes. And then a different one in the War Machine tab. They've added the hospital capacity all the way up to 15 here. And this one increases by 4,000 per level. And then the second one increases by, looks like 4,000 per level as well, after the initial scaling up. And then the final spot that you can get more hospital capacity is in the King's Legion research. They also increase this one to level 15 and after the initial research it jumps up by 6,000 per. So this is going to be a good spot to go first if you have extra scholar scrolls sitting around. I'm guessing it's going to get pretty high considering I'm on level 2 and it's 142 of them but I mean if depending on what you're doing if you're one of the C40s and you've had your research maxed out you might have a couple thousand scholar scrolls sitting around and you'll just be able to max out your hospital capacity. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in this one is the Rare Splendor set. So they give you two pieces of the Rare Splendor set during the Royal Revival quests. And the other place that you can get the Splendor set right now is inside of the Honor Chest. So inside of the Honor Chest, right now there's the Weapon Challengers Chests and Inside of them, they added the four pieces of Rare Splendor that were missing, that you can't get yet. So it looks like for now, this is going to be the spot to go. So buy those keys, try and gamble, get lucky, end up with some more pieces of Rare Splendor. They're slightly better than the regular Splendor set as far as each individual piece, but they also have the added requirement or the added benefit of reducing your aristocrat badges requirements by 2% per piece, which is really good. And 
The other thing in here is this new Rare Splendor set has a pretty good six-piece bonus where you're going to reduce your construction speed by 20% for two pieces. You're going to get some extra food requirements, and then your construction speed is going to be reduced by an additional 30% when you get all six pieces. So there's also the resonance boost, which... I don't actually know how that piece works, so I'll have to figure that out. But as you increase and enhance all the pieces, your resonance goes up. So it adds a little bit more to this. So Rare Splendor, if you can get lucky and get some of these pieces, it's going to benefit you in uh, in the long run of the game. So I do recommend trying to go for these if you can. And the final thing that I want to talk about, this one's not um, specific to this update, but I really like the new castle skin in the pirate chest event. So inside of the pirate chest, let's go to leaderboards. They've got, no, nope, I need to go to ranking rewards. This new ice dragon castle, I think it looks so cool. And I wish that my kingdom was not so competitive because as much as I want this castle skin, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Um, this epic ice dragon castle skin, I don't see much of a difference other than it keeps his wings up. But I really I really like this one. It's just my kingdom is so... It's always so competitive. I think last time to get top 10, it was like 16,000 for top 10. And we're already on... We're still in the first 24 hours and we're up at 1,100, which... If it stayed at this rate, I might be able to go for it, but it usually goes pretty high pretty fast. And I've saved up 2,400 keys, and I've been just saving a couple of hundred keys each time the pirate event comes out until I have enough to try and actually win one. And my strategy there is wait for the last day and see where I'm at with my free keys and... If I'm anywhere near the top 10 and I think I can make a last minute push, I'll use these keys. But if not, I'll just save them for the next one and wait for another castle skin that I like. I really think that's it for this update and things I want to talk about in this video. If you guys have questions, comments, anything like that, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think about Castle 45 coming to the game. Um, I have a video that I'm going to link at the end of this one that shows the upgrade costs to go from Castle 40 to Castle 45, both with the Rare Splendor set, the full piece, or the full six piece set, and without it. So you can check that video out. And you can also leave comments over there and, and you know, we can discuss <laughs> what you think about it. But I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.